Alrighty, we're talking Sloppy Joes, and everybody, I, uh, I get a craving. Somebody mentioned Sloppy Joes, and, and I gotta have one. What is it about that? I don't know. It, it, this is Stacy Little with Southern Bite, and it's it's basically a, a web platform you started, shares all kind of recipes. That's right. It's it's We have thousands of free recipes, and all you gotta do is go to southernbite.com and hit print. Really? Yeah, and it's that easy. It all out? Yep. So, um, yeah. I was thinking when you first came in, I said, Sloppy Joe's, what do you got, like a can of Sloppy Joe mix over there, and what's so big deal about that? But you're making it all from scratch. That's right. You know what? Absolutely no hate to the can mix. Okay. You know, sometimes we need quick and easy stuff, yeah. but there are other times when you got a little extra time and you want to know exactly what you've got going into your food. Right. You can make these from scratch, okay. and that's the best part. So you start out with how much meat? I've got a, a pound and a half of ground beef okay. that I have browned with a half of an onion and a half of a green pepper that we diced really finely. Is that an 80? 20 mix? It is. It is. That's typically what I like to use for kind of this kind of thing so that everything doesn't dry out. We okay. drained it, we've returned it to our pan here, and now we're going to make our sauce. Okay. Start out with ketchup. Yep. How much ketchup? I've got? got a cup of just plain regular ketchup here. Oh, yeah. I got to go Heinz on ketchup. Absolutely. There's yeah. only one brand of ketchup yeah. and one brand of mayonnaise <laughs> in my house. I've got two tablespoons of brown sugar. Yeah. A tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Ooh, a little twang to it. I gotta have a little bit of acid. Um, this is a tablespoon of soy sauce. Uh -huh. You could also use Worcestershire sauce, yeah. or if ever how Worcestershire. Is that Worcestershire. How That's how I say it. I always said Worcestershire. Yeah, but however you say it, <laughs> well, it doesn't make any difference, right? <laughs> Two teaspoons of just plain yellow mustard, uh -huh. and that's about a quarter to a half a teaspoon of garlic, of salt. garlic powder. Garlic powder. Yep. Okay. And then you just stir this together. Mm -hmm. You're going to reduce that sauce down. <laughs> and that's essentially all there is to it. You know, and what about, did you already salt and pepper it? That's what I was going to say. You know, the other thing about making it at home from uh -huh. scratch is that if your family doesn't love super sweet sloppy joes, mm -hmm. you have the opportunity to add some salt here and bring that sweetness down. Or maybe a little hot sauce. Maybe some hot sauce. There's so many variations mm -hmm. that you can make. I do a version of this with Creole seasoning to get oh, some, yeah, Creole, yeah, yeah. some Creole That'd sloppy joes. Mm -hmm. It's sometimes just about getting in the kitchen, getting started and using a little imagination. Yeah, and sometimes you just got to work with what you got there in the kitchen instead of making another Wally World run. <laughs> That's exactly it. And the great thing about this is that most folks probably already have everything they need yeah. in the kitchen. Well, you this. know, salt, pepper, garlic uh, powder, uh, mustard, mayonnaise. Uh, yeah, that's most of the ingredients that everybody's got. That's right. And if you don't have apple cider vinegar, regular vinegar, vinegar yeah. will work okay. fine. It's just okay. that apple cider vinegar gives us a little more sweetness. But that's essentially it. You're going to bring it to a simmer, let it reduce to a thickness that you're good with. Yeah. And taste your food. I tell people that all oh, the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Before it goes to the table, get a clean spoon and take right, a taste of it. Right, right. Uh, I, I do that all the time. Sometimes I don't use a clean spoon. They're all, the, uh, <laughs> but they're not in hey, there, and I'm cooking. If you're cooking for your family, it doesn't yeah, make any yeah, difference. They don't know. Yeah. Uh, but. That's one of the most important things. Even on those cooking shows with uh, the angry guy. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the angry guy, yeah. Gordon Ramsay. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, he even yeah. says you got to taste you your do. food. You do. It seems like such a simple thing, but it's one of those steps a lot of people just don't think about. Website again? Southernbite.com. Southernbite.com. You get a copy of this recipe on there. Ooh la la. That's what it's going to look like before it goes in your mouth. <laughs> we'll be right back.